वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू एच पैरामीटर टू जेड पैरामीटर एंड जेड पैरामीटर टू एच पैरामीटर कन्वर्जन सो वेन यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट एच टू जेड और जेड टू एच इन दैट केस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड ब्राइट इक्वेशन ऑफ एच पैरामीटर एंड जेड पैरामीटर सो वेन यू वॉन्ट टू ब्राइट एच पैरामीटर इक्वेशन देन H parameter equations are like v1 i2 that is based on i1 v2 right you should remember it in this way v1 i2 that is based on i1 v2 right so you see i am writing v1 i2 that is based on i1 v2 now what is v1 v1 is h11 i1 plus h12 v2 and what is i2 that is h21 i1 plus h22 v2 right so that is how you can remember this equations of h parameter and that is very essential right that's why i am telling you to remember this so this is equation 1 this is equation 2 and now let us write z parameter equations so see z parameter is what it is impedance parameter right so obviously v is equals to z into i that is how you can remember this so voltage v1 and v2 that is there based on i1 and i2 right so that is how we can remember z parameter equation so you see z11 i1 plus z12 i2 that is v1 and z21 i1 plus z22 i2 that is v2 so let us say this is equation 3 and this is equation 4 now we want to convert h into z right so what we need to do we need to compare this equation in form of z parameter equation first right so my dear students here if you see this equations carefully then you see first equation that is of v1 in form of i1 and v2 and here we have v1 in form of i1 and i2 so you cannot compare first equation and third equation so you see here second equation that is of i2 in form of i1 and v2 and this equation that is what v2 in form of i1 and i2 so what i'll do is i'll be making v2 in form of i1 and i2 and then i can compare that with equation 4 so let us take equation 2 first so now see our agenda is what we need to form v2 in form of i1 and i2 v2 in form of i1 and i2 right so you see h22 v2 that is equals to a minus h21 i1 plus i2 how that is happening you see i have took this term on other side right so it will be minus h21 i1 plus i2 now just divide this equation with h22 so we'll be having v2 is equals to minus h21 by h22 i1 plus 1 by h22 i2 right now let us compare this equation let us say this is equation 5 with equation 4 then we'll be having z21 you see that will be minus h21 by h22 and we'll be having z22 you see that will be 1 by h22 right now what we want we want to have v1 in form of i1 and i2 with this so you see with equation 1 we have v1 in form of i1 and v2 now we have the equation of v2 if you substitute equation 5 of v2 in form of i1 and i2 in equation 1 then we can have v1 in form of i1 and i2 right so let us put equation 5 in equation 1 so v1 is equals to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 right now v2 is this so let us substitute this so that is minus h21 by h22 i1 plus 1 by h22 i2 now let us take i1 terms separately first so i1 into you see h11 is there with us 
plus minus h11 into h21 is there so minus h12 h21 divided by h22 that is how it is there and i2 term that is plus h12 by h22 i2 that is how it is there right now let us simplify this further so v1 that is if you take h22 as lcm then i1 into h11 h22 minus h12 h21 divided by h22 plus h12 by h22 i2 now if you see h11 h22 minus h12 h21 so that is magnitude of h so i can simplify this equation of v1 that is i1 into magnitude of h divided by h22 plus h12 divided by h22 i2 so let us compare this v1 equation with equation 3 right so in that case you will be having z11 right that is magnitude of matrix h divided by h22 and you will be having z12 that is h12 divided by h22 right so now we have all z parameters over here right so all i can do is i can write z matrix that is z11 z12 z21 z22 right and you see what is z11 that is magnitude of h divided by h22 and z12 that is h12 by h22 z21 that is minus h21 by h22 and z22 that is 1 by h22 right so that is how we have conversion of h parameter into z parameter right now in second case see if you want to convert z to h then simply what we need to do we need to form these equations in form of these equations right so you see this fourth equation that is there based on v2 relation with i1 and i2 the second equation that is i2 relation with i1 and v2 so simply you can form this fourth equation in form of equation 2 then you can have two parameters conversion after that you just substitute that into equation 3 and compare that with this form and you can have another two parameters so just do that in your practice and you will be surprised to see how answer is coming you see how answer will be there matrix h that will be h11 h12 h21 h22 and that conversion will be now you see here magnitude of h divided by h22 is there so here it should be magnitude of z divided by z22 here h12 divided by h22 is there so here it should be z12 divided by z22 here minus h21 divided by h22 is there so here it should be z21 divided by z22 with minus sign and here 1 by h22 is there so here it should be 1 by z22 see same answer will be there right but it is there in form of z i hope you have understood this you will have to do little practice here and see you can remember this even but what happens you know sometimes you do minor mistakes right like you, i'll tell you like how to remember this see for z to h and h to z divided by 2 2 should be there right and here magnitude of h should be there and 1 should be there over here and here there should be 1 2 with 1 2 and 2 1 with 2 1 that is how it should be there and when you have y2 h and h2 y conversion at that time magnitude of h that should be over here and 1 should be over here and this minus sign that should be over here see that is how you can remember this right but sometimes you do minor mistakes that's why i don't suggest you to remember this you just do practice and calculate examples right i don't think you should remember this otherwise sometimes you do minor mistakes and you may get false answers but for examination purpose you should practice it like this i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video